A three-month-old baby dies after being left in a hot car in southeast Houston. The investigation happening now along Long Drive and the 610 South Feeder. Thank you for joining us at 10 o'clock. I'm Keith Garvin. And I'm Daniela Guzman. Really a tragic story this, this evening. That mother, though, is being questioned tonight after leaving her infant child in a car amid sweltering heat this afternoon. KPRC2's Bryce Newberry has been at the scene all night. Joining us now live from Southeast Houston with what police say happened, Bryce. Keith, Daniela, police have been here on this scene for going on seven hours now. We have learned that that mother came here to this mental health clinic for a visit this afternoon, but that three-month-old boy got left behind in the car, and tonight police are trying to figure out if that was on purpose. This black sedan with children's toys in the windshield became the scene of a tragedy Tuesday afternoon. Crime scene investigators snapping photos hours after police say a mother found her baby boy unresponsive. I know some of the questions you may have is how long was the child left in the vehicle? Were the windows up or down? Uh, that's something that we are looking into. The sun beat down on the car in the parking lot of the Harris Center, a mental health and developmental disability clinic, where police say the mother arrived for a visit sometime after noon, taking her four-year-old inside with her. At some point, she found the three-month-old child and took him inside, too, where nurses performed CPR and tried to save him. Police got called just before 3.30, and he died at a hospital. Under no circumstances, you should leave a child in the car, not even for a moment. It's at least the fourth time this summer a kid has been left in a hot car in the Houston area. Last month, a six-year-old in Richmond died, too. It gets very hot, especially an infant or a child. The body temperature goes up very quickly. Police call the situations avoidable as the investigation in Southeast Houston continues. And we are not very far from Hobby Airport where the temperature did reach 100 degrees today. The child's cause of death has not been determined, but tonight police tell us any potential charges against the mother will depend on what their investigation reveals as well as those autopsy results. We're live on the southeast side tonight. I'm Bryce Newberry, KPRC 2 News. It's a sad story, Bryce. Thank you.